Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on fiddlesticks here in season 12. For your best runes right now, you want Predator with Cheap Shot, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Cosmic Insight with Perfect Timing. For your three rune stats, take double AP with Armor. On fiddlesticks, you don't need to lay a ward and then recall for oracles. You can't even start oracles. Instead, you're just gonna keep watch, make sure they don't cheese you on your red side. And usually what you're gonna end up doing is laying your control word over here. Takes them a while to break it. You'll usually lay it around one minute 10 or one minute 15, and then you're gonna run over to your uh, blue side. Fiddlesticks blue side clear is definitely easier and more consistent than his red side clear. Just start blue buff and then pull it into your grab. Even if it's your first time doing fiddlesticks, it's easy. You just start with W just like this. Hit it with a few autos while you're walking over, just like so. Drain it when your drain's back up and never cancel your drain. If you cancel your drain, then it's doomed. It'll go on full cooldown and your clear will be wrecked. Just realized we almost reset our gromp on accident. Pulled it out a little too far. Usually kill your blue buff first and then you're gonna move on to your gromp, get your E level two. And then you're gonna go to your wolves. We see Trundle over there. Looks like he had a late start. I guess he didn't get a leash. Don't know what happened there. Doesn't really matter though. Trundle's invades aren't scary and he can't really threaten us. Fiddlesticks, your solo one versus ones are absolutely terrible. Avoid those at all costs and just focus on good ganking. I'm trying to hit your level six as soon as possible. There's not a single jungler in the game that you can solo on him consistently, even if they play it wrong and you play it right. Once you get to Raptors, you're gonna auto them once to pull and you're gonna E the red buff like so. And then you're gonna drain. Feel free to use your S key to make this easier so you can swivel and find the perfect spot looking at their patience bars to know how far you can abuse them and get them to go where you wanna go, how far you can pull them out. We're gonna hit these guys with our E and then finish off the red buff. Your drain has big execute damage on it when it ends, so the lower on health target is the more damage it will do. Your clear should basically be finished around 315 to 325, depending on how optimized it is, but as you can see, you will be full HP, and it is very, very simple to do. And it's leashless, so the enemies don't know where you start, because you could technically start on red side if you really want to. We're gonna come up behind him, hit him with a fear, an auto attack E, and then we'll drain him out. We're standing there hitting him with autos. Since he wasn't moving, we didn't really need to move. I think he knew he couldn't get away, so he decided to hold on to his flash. We're gonna help him shove wave to give ourselves as much XP as possible. After successful ganks, it's really important to do that so your laner can back and spend gold advantage and get their HP back. If the enemy jungler is gonna fight you for scuttle, you just need to give it up. It's not worth dying for at all. On fiddlesticks, scuttles aren't that important. And in fact, you don't win scuttle fights on them because fiddlesticks doesn't win any solo fights unless you have way, 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 way more HP than them. Got him with fear, silence, drain. Nice. He needed to flash much sooner. Instead, he kind of held it even after he saw me, thinking he would be able to survive our burst. Just not going to happen. Got that wave set up for him. We're getting some juicy XP out of it. Plus he needs to back, so we're helping him out a bit. If you're up against a jungler like Warwick, Trundle, or Kindred, who's usually gonna leave the Raptors up, you can look for an invade on those like we're doing here. I'm gonna let it reset and then I'm gonna take Scuttle Crab. He should finish that because he's gonna want his camp back. We're in the bush so we can still see if he follows. I'll leave an effigy there. I'll try to pin it up against the wall. Uh, this looks kind of gankable. We could just reset from here. First back on Fiddlesticks, you're looking to get tier 2 boots if possible. Gone with Fear, Silent slash Slow, Drain. Alistar should be able to catch this speed up. Oh, I would like to take the bar tunnel. And we did. Oh. 
Got him with silence drain. I think I might have actually missed my silence. This dude's literally like a one hit. <laughs> All right, at least Velkov's got the kill and we're safe. We still have our flash as well. That was a really, a really ugly fight. Since Trundle was there when we popped through the portal, things got messy very quickly. So like we were talking about, first back you get Sork Shoes. If you can't afford Sork Shoes, just grab uh, Tier 1 Boots plus Dark Seal and then build as much of your Rocket Belt as possible. Rocket Belt is Fiddlesticks at the moment. Currently his best first item rush. Full first item rush. Because it's a little dash plus movement speed plus damage. Everything you need to stay on top of enemies and land as much of your R and Drain as possible. Set is full HP. We can't do anything to him here. If we had R, we could just blast him, kill all the minions, and then the turret would aggro him. But that's not the case. After your first clear, you don't really use your Q against your monsters because it's such a long cooldown that if someone shows up or if you want to gank, it puts you in a really bad spot. You only really use Q against monsters. Uh, like against <laughs> Scuttle Crab if you don't have Smite or E or something like that. We're going to Predator. We'll just run this guy down. We'll hit him with a Fear. Silent Strain. And R. And he's a goner. And we get some juicy XP out of it. I'm not going to stay to help with the plates. You mainly just want to stay to help with the wave on fiddle for the XP. You should be able to handle those plates without me. Oh, it's warded. That sucks. I'll grab top scuttle real quick. He, they already know I'm over here. So if Trundle's in my bot side jungle taking my blue buff, it's already too late for me over there. Your fear is most helpful against scuttle to hold it still. Against your other jungle monsters, it's like it doesn't do anything very meaningful. It's basically one auto attack's worth of damage. Vigar's full health, our predator and are on cooldown, so we probably can't do anything to him. I'll stay for my red buff real quick. Only reason I bothered to use my fear here is I have vision, so if enemy jungler does come, I'll see it coming. I also know where the mid lane and top lane are right now on the mini map, so using my fear there, very low risk of retaliation. Basically, no downside and a little bit of upside. You see Trundle's top side. Our predator is up, so we could could look for a gank right now. Oh, I pulled it out a little bit too far. That's a shame. Taking wolves and blue at the same time can be a little bit inconsistent. If your health bar is blocking one of their patience bars, it can be hard to tell whether or not you're resetting it. Taking blue gromp or raptor's red buff is a lot easier. Not warded. Once you're level six, your effigies act as a uh, oracle lens. Our R is up, we don't really want to bat. I don't want to start dragon, we don't have bot prio. Oh my gosh, this is warded. It's gonna completely mess up our gank on Vigar. Likely Bard's gonna roam down here and ward. So in this case, we're actually gonna reset. That ward ruined everything plus Velkaz roam, so we have nothing to do in this area, bot or mid right now. Grab Blasting Wand and Hextech Alternator. Vilkaz should recall here. He's on a ward. I'll do Krugs and then I'll go mid and gank. The only way you can solo people on Fiddlesticks is with your R and they have to be squishy for you to do that. So basically right now, if they have any HP or magic resist items, I can't kill them at all. So Vagar, a little bit of HP items, probably can't one-shot him with my R. He would have enough time to walk away. Same with, uh, I guess same with none of them right now. They're all pretty squishy. Max your Q second, drain first. Got him with Fear Silence. He's gonna eat a turret shot, down he goes. Always drain last. So that was just R, Q, E, W. Ooh. 
Hey, Velkaz, where you going, buddy? Got him with some red smites. I'm gonna flash this. Oh, drain, baby, let's go! <laughs> she got the shot down, but she went down. That was crazy, though. I don't think Velkaz saw me, even though I was literally on his screen. I guess I should have pinged. That's the dangers of people alt tabbing or having double monitors is they just don't see what's right in front of them. It happens though. We can't quite afford our Hextech rocket built. Kind of sucks. Uh, ours on a cooldown. I guess we could wait on base for some gold. If my R was up, I wouldn't have waited on base. It'd be too big to uh, just leave it idling like that. Predator's on a cooldown, so is R, so being in the base isn't a huge deal. All we missed out on was basically maybe Grunt Wolves in terms of time. Standard combo, once again, Predator R, Rocket Belt, QEW, Blue Spiked. I didn't bother to use my Predator against Vagar there because I knew I didn't need it. No reason to put it on a cooldown. All right, we'll Predator for this. Blue Smite. I have a lot of HP. He can't just kill me like that. Rocket Belt W, and he just barely died from that. Holy crap. I saved Rocket Belt as a gap closer. If we were already in range to attack him, there's no reason to use it. We need to just save it as an extra gap closer. We couldn't get away. Nice Velkaz Juke. Oh, he's walking right into us. This is beautiful. Fear. I'm gonna have to R for this. Oh my god, he had his portal. Trundle just healed off of the Alstar dying through, through his uh, passive there. That sucks. Bard actually portaled away. So unfortunate. We need to start getting objectives. We have a, a lot of KP, 8 out of 10. That's not enough to win games. Trista looks like she's about to shove. I have Predator. I can loop around her if she stays. Otherwise, I would have gone for Wolves. Ground Blue. All right, she's backing off. I kind of want to start dragging. It seems risky. I do have mid prior though. Velkaz is very fed. He has minion advantage and kill advantage. And he's had time to spend his gold. Always pull the dragon out. Takes away a lot of the risk. Sets way out of position. I'm going to Predator really early. I want to be able to get an assist on this. QEW, down he goes. Trista staying for turret plates. You can already tell that they're starting to lose morale. Vagar split push set, Trist split push. That doesn't work. We have an Alistar fiddle. They can get caught out pretty easily by my Predator Alistar's fast boots. Keep going for that fear of max seconds. Underneath turrets. Yeah, this is free. Fear, silence, W. You always fear, then silence, because your fear holds them still. Then you can land your E, which is a skill shot. Your fear is not. All R for this. Rock Belt Entomb, Q, E, W. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what killed me? I thought I got away from Vigor. I don't know how he still reached me with whatever he hit us with. That's kind of nuts. We're going to really need Hourglass this game. What is that range on his pole though? That looked like a blitz hook. Vigor hit us with his R and every ability Vigor has to stand still to cast. He hit us with his R, and then he somehow kept up with us and then hit us with a Q when he has tier 1 boots. He had to flash, right? I didn't see him do it, but I'm assuming he did. How else would he have kept up with tier 1s? Nutty, nutty. Well, we're going to have to focus bigger on these team fights. He's the backbone of their team at the moment. Without him, they are nothing. Guaranteed. 
Blue buff has more HP than Gromp. Focus it down with your autos. Our drain's starting to do some really good damage versus monsters. There's champions, it's a little disappointing. It's one of the weakest abilities in the game, realistically. Against champs. If they couldn't cancel it, it would be an okay ability, but since they can cancel it, and it's only as good as it is, it's like, eh. Pretty weak ability. We're getting some really big, big picks here. Senna's definitely gonna die. I should start the Herald. They have enough pick potential with like a Vagar Cages set and a uh, Bard to where we can't be splitting like that. Bell Cause is way out of position somehow and just, wow, got destroyed. They are, they're building up some momentum here. They might even push me off a of Herald if they're smart. And they might just chase Trindomir. I'm not stopping still to drain because the eye opens up based off your auto attacks. I think Bard probably just warded there. Yeah. I'm gonna Predator R right through his cage. If you're silenced. W baby. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Panic rocket belt. Silence. Down he goes. That was massive for our team. A lot of kills. Your art is like a flash, even though you have to channel it so you can go through like Navia walls or Vagar cages. He was being really greedy there. They had vision of me and they didn't think I knew it, so they just thought they could throw out a cage and other nonsense to basically get me. Getting that these turrets are huge it helps me set up ours. Takes away a lot of their vision. We need to pull off and get dragon instead of like just pushing underneath turrets against Vagar Cage. Especially if my R's on a cooldown. Seems to be working out though. The Velkaz range. I'm gonna Predator R this. I'm gonna Rock Belt into Vigar, Q him. I missed my Q on something. I don't know what I accidentally clicked it on. That was really weird. I accidentally clicked it on the minion. It should be Inhib at least and then Dragon. Very nice. You can still go first strike or like Dark Harvest on Fiddle. They're okay. It's just not as consistent as Predator. The consistency Predator lasts for your ganks and ours is just really big. Nice. This is an easy dragon as long as Velkaz comes. Without Velkaz, we don't have a great tool to fight Vigar until. Senna gets rapid fire cannon, then she can gig out. God, she keeps stealing everything from me. Once she has rapid fire cannon, she can gig out range of the Vigar. Poke him and without really putting herself in much danger. That was awesome. Our smite was on cooldown, but uh, still not great. Having Vigar still the. We need to push the side waves. No reason for us to group mid on a broken inhib. I'm going to reset for a uh, hourglass here and get some uh, hill cut. Morello is almost always your best third item buy on fiddlesticks. You can hill cut their whole team simultaneously. Team stays without me. And we're fighting on a broken inhib instead of pushing side lane. You want to just let the super minion shove. and It's like having an extra champion on your team constantly dumping waves on the enemies. Forces them inside of their base. Key ingredient of map control is wave control. Predator R, Rocket Belt Q, E. And I was not able to kill Vigar, unfortunately. 
But we still did a lot of damage and took a lot of aggro. You live with very little HP. Hopefully we start to push the sideways. Fiddlesticks, you can't really split push. You're immobile and your wave clear isn't that good. All you can do is mainly hide behind your teammates and wait to press R. The only time you can lead, oh God. The only time you can lead fights on fiddlesticks is if the enemies are all in the same spot or if you know where they all are and then you are over a wall. But in these team fights, you usually can't do that because you just assume they have it worded. So you have to be a lot more patient with your R's in these type of team fights. This is a really aggressive to even be up this far. We see where Vagar is at least. My Predator is up, I'd go for Tristana here. If you don't feel comfortable with activatables, definitely go Essence Reaver over Rocket Belt. That way you don't have to press anything. Our glass is up, I'd probably R her here. Mmm, God. Oh, it's unfortunate. I don't really want to save him. If it gets me killed, it's not really worth. They'll cause such an immobile champion once he's out of position, he's a goner. We can get our Morello. Nice. Gonna group over here now. Sets out of position. Seems to be soloing Trinimir regardless. Good thing Senna was there. Make sure you get your activatable item slots in the proper slots for yourself. You do not want those being in the wrong spot. Don't know where Vigar is, so I'm a little bit scared. At least we know this bush isn't warded. And set up an R over here. Spartan's a really aggro. He also has a 14 KP on his team. That's exactly what I was trying to do was bait out his cage so he can't threaten my teammates. I had no intention of actually just engaging him solo there. Flash, Feared, EW, down he goes. Uh, he dies here, he, he can't be up like this against Fiddle. Rocket Belt into him, Blue Smite Q. Silence, Zanyas. Yep, you can't, you just can't just chill underneath the turret when you know Fiddle's in the area like that. And you, and you think you might have R. Plop over, you can dodge a turret shot with your Zanyas, dodge a bunch of abilities with it while simultaneously simultaneously you are still doing damage for its five seconds. It'd be nice if Zanyas increased your R's duration. That'd feel really, really good. As it is, it's already doing 1800 damage though, so that'd probably be OP. I don't really want to stay because Vigar's spawning in and Trindomir won't be here and I don't have R. I think staying for that turret is a huge mistake. I think we just reset for dragon. There's so much risk for this turret. Like our whole team dying for at best getting a turret. It's just not worth. Plus they would get dragon off of our uh, deaths. Vagar's coming for dragon again. He knows I want to start it. So I'm not going to start it because my team's not really interested in it. That's what he gets for being a dirty little dragon stealing rat. Saw where he was. We could easily calculate the rough distance. We're not using our rocket belt that much. Oh, he got through. Wow. That cost him a lot of damage to Trundle. Nice. Go for dragon, guys. We can't end here anyways. We don't have the damage. It's one of the toughest things on Fiddlesticks since you can't just like straight up solo people for the most part, split push. You're normally reliant on your teammates to help with certain things. So if they choose to do random stuff like ARAM underneath a broken inhib, there's just not much, not much you can do about it. If I was Evelyn, I could uh, play around that a lot easier. But hey, at least we're getting Dragon out of it. 
Very nice. We can get full Morello. Vagar has a little bit of health. Yeah, I think we finish Morello and then just go for Void Staff. Set has double magic resist. Trundle has some magic resist. I think Void Staff would be nice to have. I wouldn't mind giving Velcaws blue here. Okay, actually, yeah, he actually has one. I'll just take it then. You don't really even need blue on Fiddlesticks. It doesn't use that much mana in team fights because you just press four abilities. And for clearing your jungle item, gives you back so much mana per second. Oh, we might have to set up a Baron. I'd prefer to just push down turrets. As, as a team, we're just not really even touching the waves that we need to touch to push. We'd just rather farm. I'm just gonna smite it. I don't care. Like, what is she gonna do? Just choose to keep playing the game the way she's been playing it? I don't know. Trindomir, no R. We probably don't want to fight here. Plus, we're fighting on a broken inhib. I, I don't know. I, the right move for me is to stay with my team and use them as a bait, and then I R in. But uh, at the end of the day, we kind of have to push these side waves. So. Tough situation. I guess those three teammates can go down there and each like do things with their thumbs. But um, I guess me and Velikos will two man push this. There, I've played a lot of League of Legends games like this where there's just one to three teammates who just decide they're gonna play the game they want to play and they don't care about winning. Like this doesn't happen that often. This is like maybe one out of five games. There, it's 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 kind of rare. They'll cause how to use this flash. Really big get for them. I'm gonna predator art. I'm on their whole team here. Someone just like knocked me away. That self that set pull felt really weird there. I'm walk with her, then W. Please get it, Ali. Nice. And Trindomir is pushing away. Very nice. Even if it is mid wave, he's doing something. Oh, he got the kill at least. It's actually really important that Vigar dies. He's the most important player on their team right now. I should have silenced. That was my bad. I just feared Drained instead of silencing. Nice. Rocket belt. Q E. Actually missed my E there. I think we could just end. Emphasis on we should just end. I think teams might let me do Ooh, nice Alstar saved me this Senna is just she wants out now it's fine I'll heal back up we can go back in with Predator R and wrap this game up you don't usually go for Mej on Fiddle you can it's just kind of risky especially if you don't trust your teammates because they can leave you out to dry when you come out of your Zanya sometimes Drop an effigy there, they know we're here. They might come to pinch us this way. So we can pull back a little bit. Never mind, looks like they're going for our teammates. They're in range of the Predator. Send a Mr. Flash. Uh, Velkaz is completely pulling off. I guess we want Dragon Fight. I don't think we should start Dragon because of the Vigar though. So I'm gonna reset. We can get Morella Void Staff, we'll be really, really big. Or heck, we just go for Robin on here and buy it in Oracles. This is our last team fight anyways. 
This is exactly why when you're on a split push champion like Trindamir or Fiore, you just split push. You don't want to try to fight one versus five, one versus four, one versus three normally. You just split push on a side lane far away from everyone else. Get easy value. If they send one person, you kill them. If they send two, you might be able to kill them. And if they send more, you just run. And then the enemies lose by sending too many people. Look at that, how much damage we just did to her. Because we spent our gold. Yep. We, we actually do some pretty good damage now. I mean, heck, our art does 3k damage. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Glad we got oracles for this last fight. Yeah, we're at 700 AP almost. Belkaz, I don't know where he's going. I think we could just end. Ah, oh, never mind. He's low health. That's why. Makes sense. I'll give him blue buff. I don't really need it. He could also take Gromp as well for the health back. Senna doing random Senna stuff again. Getting herself killed. Yep. Happens. She has more deads than Trist. And my team had me and they had Trundle. Happens though, man. Some players, they get bored. If their team's winning too hard, some players get really bored. And they just don't want to end. They want to just like try to run around and do their own thing. Which, ironically, makes them even more bored. And that's all the enemies had it in them. After killing Senna, they decided they were content. Hope you guys enjoyed this Fiddlesticks Jungle commentary guide and the patience of using his R and positioning. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at Damage Ultimate Champions, we were the second highest in the game. Pretty happy with that. Looking at damage taken, we've taken the most on our team. So we're basically the tank for our team, huge aggro machine. Plus, we were blocking a lot with Hourglass for runes. Predator did 800 damage, cheap shot 1000. We maxed out Ultimate Hunter Eyeball Collection. And all in all, Fiddlestick Jungle is still really good. Just stay away from one versus one fights, especially before you have your R. Once you do have your R, try to position to where the enemies don't know where you are. And uh, in team fights, try to use your teammates as bait, then you are in from behind generally. And yeah, you should be good to go on Fiddlesticks. He's a great carry for literally every elo.